Every so often I get one of these centipedes in my bathtub. I guess uh, they must crawl up the drain. But uh, however they get in, they get in. I should probably wash this one of these days. Anyways, I'm going to put the uh, time lapse on it. And I'm going to use this solution. I got it mixed up. This is a repurposed uh, hand sanitizer spray. But uh, I'm going to use a solution I have at half a percent of permethrin. <clears throat> it's the same same percentage that I mix up when I spray my uh, clothing and gear. I'm going to give them one spritz. I haven't missed them. There we go. That's a good one. So we'll see how it reacts to that. Really shouldn't take long. But rather than bore you with this whole video, I'm going to time lapse it. All right, we're here about 20 minutes later, and you can see here and here, it's uh, shed its back antenna. And it's pretty much starting to, uh, I wouldn't use the word bleed, but it's starting to excrete its fluids through its uh, carapace, uh, exoskeleton for them. But uh, you got to keep in mind, this is in repellent strength at half a percent. Well, it still can't kill. It's uh, it's designed to basically repel uh, arthropods and ticks and well, ticks are arthropods, but most insects, things like that, arachnids. But uh, in a higher concentration, I get it at thirty six point eight. In a higher concentration, it would have just ate right through this thing. Not like an acid, but into its central nervous system and killed it almost instantly. I forgot to probe it while I was recording last time. See its responsiveness. It's definitely a lot more uncoordinated and sluggish. Starting to drag its antenna rather than using them as feelers. Doesn't move as rapidly. I'd say this thing's just about out. And here we are about 30 minutes later. Only the smallest amount of movement coming from that. And even when prompted and stimulated, seems to be a uh, little more than death throes. So yeah, even at a half a percent, permethrin, uh, permethrin gets them.